Hello everybody, it's been a long time since I've done a video kind of updating where we are as a parish during this pandemic and we continue to do phenomenal things just being open, sanitizing properly, everybody following the rules of social distancing and wearing masks has been just a sheer blessing for our parish and for our school. So thank you very much for your cooperation as we continue to move through this. Ash Wednesday is going to be upon us uh, pretty soon. It begins uh, February 17th. So I just wanted to do a, a couple of things in advance so that you're prepared. Uh, first of all, be grateful that we're able to celebrate Ash Wednesday this year, which is a great thing again. But it will look different because we're not allowed to touch and the social distancing. So instead of placing the ashes on our forehead, um, we're going back to an ancient principle uh, this was approved, uh, the Vatican actually suggested it in the Archdiocese, that we take a little of the ashes and we sprinkle it on your head. Um, we'll do the general uh, line that goes with it together and then each person will come up and we'll sprinkle the ashes. So you'll be very safe to come for that if you'd like to and the schedule for that will be 6.30, 8.15 in the morning. There's a prayer service at 4.30 p.m. and then a Mass again at 7 p.m. in the evening. So there's many opportunities to come and celebrate that great uh, institution into the season of Lent. In addition to that, uh, remember we did, it seems so long ago already, but last fall we did the consecration to Mary uh, to really help strengthen us during this difficult time. Well, the Archdiocese of Detroit is uh, expanding on the Holy Father who made December 20 or December 8th I'm sorry of, of last year to December 8th of this year is a year of St. Joseph um, in commemoration of many different aspects of St. Joseph's life. So they put together a consecration to uh, St. Joseph and we're going to begin that and that will start two days before Ash Wednesday. The other aspect of this is that we can just download the information from the website here or from the Archdiocese and I wrote about it in my column for this weekend as well. So that's all available and I'd really like us to all embark on that once again to do this consecration to St. Joseph as it helped us all to grow in a relationship with our Blessed Mother who leads us to Jesus. Joseph was a very virtuous, quiet, and righteous man, and he can teach us those virtues too by following that consecration. We had so many people that were a part of it. I know there was over 300 adults, a lot of our staff, um, a lot of our teachers in the religious ed, and in the, the school, and with all the children that participated, we had many, many people be a part of that consecration, and it is still bearing fruit for us to this day. So I believe that if we do the consecration with St. Joseph, that'll be really helpful as well. So also don't forget that uh, during Lent, this would be a great endeavor because it will help us in our prayer life. It will help us understand about fasting and almsgiving, which is also hallmarks of the Lenten season. We will also have our confessions all the time during the season of Lent, you know, on Saturday afternoons beginning at 3.30 and Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. And then when we get closer to Holy Week, we'll add a couple more in there as well. And don't forget, we will do Stations of the Cross, and they will be Tuesday night, right after um, Benediction of the Blessed Sacraments will be 7 p.m. on a Tuesday night. So these are all many and varied and wonderful ways to grow in a relationship with the Lord. And I always know that I continue to pray for you. I'm hoping that we can continue to open up um, get more and more people to be involved as uh, this pandemic is coming to a close. <laughs> That's my great hope. Know my prayers for you. Have a wonderful day. God bless.